What is going on guys? We are out here at Justin's house doing a little bit with the E36. As you saw, things are broken. So we're going to dive into it a little bit deeper here and figure out what's really going on. Like we were talking about, we know the motor, the tranny pan, the diff, like we didn't lose any other fluids besides, besides coolant. We just stuffed a curb and lost the radiator. Yeah, so we're going to have to really go under and diagnose maybe some suspension parts. We know the motor mount's cracked, but we're going under in a second. <laughs> Not cracked, in two pieces. Snapped, yeah. <laughs> Snapped. How's that looking up? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, you're good. My car can fall away. Away, E36, away. <laughs> Dude, I'm just, I'm just so shocked that it didn't rip off my oil pan. This I bumper literally... is still there too. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> you, you guys saw what the, what the island looked like that I ran over that I didn't see. It like it fits perfectly into my car. Yeah, it did. We went over that thing. I can't. I, and, yeah, and it... my, yeah. Like I don't know how it just didn't rip things from under my car, but. We're gonna check it out. Keep the fingers crossed. Honestly, here. that makes me so confident. We should get an E36 and rip it through the woods. Oh, Did it no. slip? Yeah. What's it on? Nothing good. <laughs> Is that something bad? No, I think you're fine. I just landed on something rubber. Oh no. What? My rack. And it bent the line. Fuck me. Is it is it leaking? No, but it's like it, it's kinked and like I could it's flat. We'll have to check that out. Oh, fuck. So a little tip: if like you're jacking a car up and the jack is sliding, like that just did on the subframe, take the e-brake off, put it in neutral, whatever. So the rear wheels will turn, and when this goes up, it'll just give it that little bit of a little bit of pull it needs, so it won't be sliding the jack and it'll move the car and crush your. We have, we'll, we'll check it out. We'll check it out. So we're underneath of it now, and everything looks pretty good. As we saw, I can show you now, this motor mount is pretty messed up. I'll get you a good angle right here. Yeah, oh, or this is a terrible angle. Oh, there you go. This thing is completely snapped. This side, is, you're actually missing a bolt too, Justin. <clears throat> and the motor mount? Yeah, there's no bolt in the top of the motor mount. Nice. So that's good. But the tranny, the oil pan, nothing even got touched. Look at this, guys. That's sweet. Very nice. The floor, the floor now. That, that took most of the, uh, the damage the whole way down. It was, uh, it really liked that big curb. We'll just take a whiz wheel to it, put some POR on it, and no one will ever know. That's what just happened when we dropped the jack on the rack. A little kinkage, but it, you know, it's, it's fine. It's fine. We're in the back now, and as you can see, the floor took some damage all the way down. A little bit of scrapage here, you know, low life. Low but life. Come to see a couple different weird little things, like some wire thing hanging right here, and it was literally it was rubbing on the, the axle shaft, the CV, as you can see a little bit. So I just I'm just tucking it up there. But everything everything's like fared pretty well in that incident, considering. So. It's not bad, just a radiator, honestly. These tires, like all of ours right now, are smoked. What are you doing? You're taking the fan clutch off so you can see it? Yeah, just so I can see it. We've done this a couple times. A couple times. Fan clutch off. A couple times at three. We made the shroud, or the uh, yeah, the plastic shroud sit with the radiator. But the whole radiator... It's like off. Yeah. Look at that. The whole radiator got like punched up. So something's obviously weird and we're going to figure it out. So that thing's junk. The wiggle technique. Oh. <laughs> Don't put anything else, pulling it out. Pull the whole radiator with it. How's the uh, the teeth on the thing? Are they all chewed up? Everything. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little, 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 little bit. Little, a little bit nicked. A little bit Still more. do the the fanning. <laughs> the shroud. The shroud took some beating too. It's a shroud. We're looking around the radiator, and it looks like the radiator is honestly sitting where it's supposed to, and everything, everything seems fine. So we're not sure why coolant went everywhere. So we're gonna fire it up right now and go under it and find it.
see where the coolant starts coming from. Apparently this is the cold rough ice that he's talking about. I think I saw the leak, boys. I don't know, look at this line. I can't tell. So we just found the leak, the fan shroud, and everything moved, hit the radiator, and it's kind of hard to see, but it'll put a hole in it right there. You see, oh, yep. you see it, kind of? No, yeah. It's kind of low on fluid, but... There's definitely a, a hole in it. So we need a radiator and motor mount, and considering how hard we hit that thing, that's not bad. Hell yeah, guys. We'll get that fixed and have a nice fancy radiator, and it's gonna be brand new. Drift car status. We're gonna get the nice aluminum radiator, the uh, electronic fan, so we can delete that fan clutch. It's gonna look nice. Yeah, it is gonna look nice. Heating things up a little bit. So. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me